everyone, welcome to Sonic Revolution 2019. With me, I have a very special guest. He is the voice of Sonic Adve in Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Drummond. Hi, hey. how have you been? Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me in this crazy room. Yes, it has been crazy. A lot of Sonic fans here. First of all, let me go ahead and, and thank you for accepting this interview. Uh, such an honor to be here sitting with you. You are one of my childhood heroes. I mean, Aww. I've been playing Sonic the Hedgehog since a long time. It's been a while, hasn't yeah, it's it? Been, yeah, it's yeah. been a huge while. I'm interested in how you became this, the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog in the games, of course. But before we get into that, please tell me about your career, your background career prior to getting to Sonic. Prior to Sonic? Yes. Yeah, well, I actually grew up in a theatrical household. My, uh, my mom and dad were both actors and directors in the theater. And so I grew up uh, doing children's theater that my dad directed. And uh, so I've been performing since I was probably four years old, five years old, something like that. So something performing and being in the arts business is just something that we did in my house. It was just, just as natural as, you know, going to school. After school, you go to play practice. That's just what you do. So that was kind of how it all started. I saw that you're also a, uh, you have a, a, a profession in, uh, in comedic work, is that correct? Yeah, uh-huh. That's a lot of comedy involved in what I do, and uh, I've been a trained clown and also a mime for many years, and so I've kind of been able to carve out a little bit of all different facets of the entertainment business, which keeps it interesting. Going on to Sonic, yeah. uh, everyone here is for that, going on to Sonic. How did you become the iconic voice of Sonic? Well, you know, it's funny. It's just kind of one of those stories about it's who you know. Um, I actually did a... Uh, when I moved to San Diego in 96, I got an agent. And in 97, my agent said, Hey, I've got a... Do you do any voiceovers? And I was like, well, yeah, from time to time. And she said, I've got this uh, company in town called Lightspan Partnership. And they do educational software for kids. And she's like, and they have this raccoon who does math problems. And so uh, I auditioned for the role of this raccoon that does math problems, and I got the job. And then the studio engineer from that job knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody. And so then in 98, when the Sonic team came around and they were looking for a new voice for Sonic the Hedgehog and the other characters, this studio engineer said, hey, I know this guy who did some work for me as a raccoon. He could probably do a hedgehog. And so that's how I got into the audition. And, and the game for the raccoon, what was in the, the, the title of that? What was that? What was the title of the, uh, of the game for the raccoon? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I really should go look that up because people ask me that a lot. I don't remember the name of it, but I think so, it was something. I don't think it was sold in stores. I think it was something that was just for schools. Uh, or oh, like I get that. it. Okay, okay. So yeah. initially, how were you? How were you directed to deliver the lines for Sonic? I mean, or did you just go into it cold? I went totally into it cold. It was actually the the uh, the audition uh, consisted of just going into the recording booth, and there was a picture of Sonic on the wall. And they came in the uh, over the earpiece and said, if you could hear a voice coming out of that hedgehog, what would it sound like? And they said, recording. And so the first line was, pick up all the gold rings and get a free life. Aw, yeah. And I just said, pick up all the gold rings and get a free life. Aw, yeah. And they were like, yeah, we like that. Do the rest of the lines like that. And so I read the rest of them. And then the next week they called and they said, yeah, we like your take on Sonic the Best. Well, and I, and I think, and if you guys are, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I believe you were the first uh, person to voice Sonic in the games. In a video right? game, that's right. Yes, yes. Yeah. The, no, that, yeah, that is, that is a great title voice. to have. Yeah, how about yeah. that, right? <laughs> uh, between 2004 and 5, you were succeeded by voice actor Jason Griffith for the animated series Sonic X. Yes. How did that happen? Well, basically how it happened was is that um, when 4Kids Entertainment that owns uh, Sonic X, they imported it from Japan and they said, we're going to put it on uh, TV and we're going to you know, put English voices on it. And uh, they contacted Sega, this is 4Kids Entertainment, and they contacted Sega and said, can we use your voices? And Sega said, we're not interested in doing that. And so they said, well, we'll give you some money and we'll just use our own voice actors. And Sega said, okay. And so they hired their own people from New York, including Jason Griffith. Yeah, Jason. And um, then they started doing it. The cartoon became very popular. And so then Sega was like, oh, we, we want them now. So they fired all of us and they oh. took the <laughs> Sonic X cast. Oh. <laughs> and then they kept oh. them for a while until they fired all of them. 
and went on with Tuba, Roger and so Roger forth. Roger and yes. uh, what is his name for Shadow? I forgot his name. Right. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although Mike well, Pollock has seemed to have been the perennial yeah, Eggman yeah. for everything. <laughs> But he's incredible. He's, uh, he started you know, voicing uh, Dr. Eggman in uh, Sonic X. Yes, in Sonic yes, X. That's, Sonic I X. believe that's where he started with the characters. Yes, so. Yeah. 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 Uh, speaking of you know, Sega, uh, were you ever invited by Sega or, or just in general invited to, uh, to other conventions like in Japan or overseas? No. They, um, they did actually plan kind of a, a press tour, um, but they didn't have anything in the budget to uh, compensate me for such a thing. So they basically said, we're going to send you out across the world for six months and we'll pay for everything. Um, but they weren't going to pay me anything. So I was like, I can't be gone for six months and, you know, not pay rent and not make anything at all. Right. And they were like, well, we don't want to pay you, but we'll give you a free trip. And I was like, sounds great, but no, thanks. <laughs> I have to make money. This is my job. So... Uh, speaking about you know uh, delivering the lines for Sonic earlier, uh, was there? Can you recall any time that you had a great or rather funny experience while delivering a line for Sonic? Yes, actually, my my favorite one probably is that during Sonic Adventure Two, they had a, uh, a whole group from Sega Japan who was there to kind of critique as I was doing the lines, and so they're all just sitting on the other side of the glass and they're just watching me record every line, and it was really weird. Um, but um, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> none at all. And so they didn't speak English, and so they were all talking through a translator. And um, they, we come to the part of the recording session where they call emotives, which is where the, he has to make the noises like you know damage when he takes damage or anything like <laughs> you know everything like that. And they had Sonic climbs a ladder, and so I of course you'd make ladder noises. So I was like. <laughs> And then the Japanese cast was like, no, 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 no. And then luckily the voice director was like, we don't sound like that in America. We don't say haya u. <laughs> we just go, just, you know, sounds of exertion. So we had a good laugh over that, that I kind of wish it made it through so that in the American version of the game, Sonic would climb a ladder and go, haya u, haya u, haya u. In recent news, Sonic the Hedgehog has a live-action film coming out soon. Yes. What are your opinions um, based on what you've seen so far? Um, I it's it's hard to say. I mean, like everybody else, I've only seen the preview, and um, I can't say enough good things about Ben Schwartz. I think he's going to be fantastic as Sonic. He's a supremely talented and super funny actor. People know him mostly from Parks and Rec. Um, but he's he's really a talented and wonderful human being. So I'm like, yay. So that's going to be great. And I personally am a huge Jim Carrey fan. So I think that's a great choice for Eggman. Um, the, the design of Sonic, I wasn't convinced by. And I guess a lot of people weren't. So they're going to go try to change that. Yes. They've delayed the yeah, uh, movie till next February, I think. Uh, 14th. February, February 14th. 14th. Yes. So like it's a Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I love um, for the fans. The so I, th I, 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 I have high hopes for it because I thought, well, I really like Ben, I really like Jim Carrey, and and I wasn't really caring for the design of Sonic, so when they said, we're going to go back to the drawing board, we're going to redo it, we hear all the complaints, and we're, we'll come back at you next year, I was like, that was the right thing to do. Yes, yeah. that is, yeah. So I have high hopes for it. I think it, it should be fun. Now, before we go, before we end this interview, can you provide us with the voices of Sonic? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, we have, we, I created some lines from the Oh, yeah, you game. have some? Uh, I'll be Shadow if you don't mind. Sure. <laughs> Found you, faker! Ha! <laughs> You're not even good enough to be my fake. I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have another line in mind? Aw, oh, yeah! This is happening! So before we go, we have a quick announcement. In order to win this awesome autographed uh, collage by none of the son... All you have to do is subscribe to the Kitchen Network, click that notification bell above so you won't miss any awesome interviews, and comment below as to who is your favorite Sonic character and why. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Yeah.